Assalamualaikum and hi. Today, we are going to show you our case study, which is about theory theory project. First of all, I want to introduce each of my group members. First, I want to introduce myself, Nur Aiza Wali, and my group member, Siti Nur Shafika, Nur Aiza Shafika, and the last one, Wan Nur Adiana. I will explain to you the introduction of our case study. We choose Ekon Jaya Supermarket as our place to do the case study. For business type is supermarket located at Jalan Datuk Hashim, Ikan Maca, 18500, and time preparation from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. The number of server is 4. Arrival characteristics. Arrival characteristics of two system are size of calling population, pattern of arrivals and behavior of the arrival. For size of the calling population at Ekon Jaya Supermarket Macha will be unlimited, which is, which is infinite because number of arrivals at any moment is small compared to the potential arrivals. Next, the pattern of arrivals is poison distribution, which is random arrivals of customers because number of customers arrive cannot be predicted at the time. Furthermore, we have behavior of the arrival. Behavior of the arrival customer are patient customers, which is they are patient and wait in the line in the queue line until they are served. And some of the customers are religious customers because they enter the queue and then become impatient and leave without completing their transaction. That's all for me. I pass to the next. Next, I will present about waiting line characteristic. Uh, the waiting line in Ekon Jaya Supermarket is unlimited queue because the length of the queue at the supermarket is unrestricted. Additionally, Ekon Jaya Supermarket don't, don't even make a limit length of queue line for the customer at every counter in the supermarket. Next is queue discipline. Uh, the few disciplines used in uh, Econ Jaya Supermarket is first in, first out discipline, which is people. Most few disciplines follow the first in, first out rule. The customer who arrive first obtain the service first, while uh, the last arrival receive the service last. Payment counters in supermarket and retail shop follow the first in, first out discipline. That's all from me. So, uh, next is service facility characteristic. Configuration of service system in the Econ Jaya Machang uh, is the number of channel is multi-channel system, while the number of phase in Econ Jaya Machang is single phase system. For the pattern of service time, uh, the exponential distribution in the Econ Jaya Machang is about 20 customer per hour. So, the basic QA system configuration in Econ Jaya Machang is multi server, multi line, single phase. Uh, when the customer arrives uh, at the Econ Jaya, the customer will proceed with their buying process, and then after they are done with the uh, buy the uh, groceries, they will have to proceed to the processing point, which is the cashier, to make the payment, and then after that, they can uh, proceed to the uh, go out to, uh, from the uh, Econ Jaya. So in Econ Jaya Machang, there are only one processing point, which is the cashier to make the payment uh, and uh, to put all the groceries in the plastic bag. That is, that is all for me. Uh, I will pass to the next presenter. Uh, next, for the QA model, uh, I will tell you about the calculation of this uh, multi-channel in Echo Jaya supermarket in Macha. Uh, the average arrival rate, which is lambda, is 20 customers per hour. Next, the average 
the average service rate, which is mu, is 10 cus customer per hour, and the number of service, which is S, is 4. Uh, for the first one, the utilization factors, uh, which is rho, uh, when we substitute uh, in the formula given, we will get 0 0.5. Next. Uh, the probability of number of no customers in the system, which is P0. Uh, when we substitute uh, the value into the formula, we will get 1.5. Next. Uh, average number of customers in the queue. Uh, when we substitute the value in the formula given, we will get two customers in the queue. Next. The average numbers of customers in the system uh, substitute the value in the formula and we will get four customers uh, in the system on average. Next. Lastly, uh, average time a customer spends in the system. Uh, substitute the value in the formula given and we will get 0 0.2 hours, uh, which is 12 minutes. The customer needs to spend in the system on average. Next. Average time a customer spends waiting in the queue, uh, substitute the value in the formula given, we will get 0 0.1 hours, which is six minutes that the customer spends waiting in the queue on average. Uh, so the conclusion is, is the number of servers provided adequate? The answer is yes, because the supermarket can serve their customer on time. And are the customers are happy with the waiting time? Uh, the answer is no, because the customer needs to wait for six minutes long uh, when they queue in the when they queue for payment in the Econjaya supermarket in Macam. Uh, what we have learned from do, uh, from the doing the project, queuing theory can help inform business decision on how to build more efficient and cost effective work workflow systems. If one server in a multi-server environment goes down, the other server can continue to provide access to the service and application the users need. That's all from us. Thank you.